Okay, this video is about Chapter 5 Quadratic Functions taken from the BBMP1103 course. First, let's start off with quadratic equations and how to sketch the graph of quadratic equations. Okay, basically, the general format of a quadratic equation is given by y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, right? So from here, when a is greater than 0, if the value of a here is greater than 0, then the graph opens upward in U shape. And the graph has a minimum value. As you can see here, the graph must be U shape and uh, it is a minimum graph, we say, if a is greater than 0. But when a is less than 0 or negative, then the graph is said to open downward, all right, in the N shape, and the graph has a maximum value, okay? Okay, how to sketch a quadratic function graph? First, we determine whether it is a maximum or minimum graph, all right? So, this is determined by the value of A. Remember, if A is negative, then it is maximum. If A is positive, it is a minimum graph. Okay? So, next, we find the turning point. Right? Turning point of the graph, where it is given by X equals to negative B over 2A, and the value of Y is given as 4AC minus B square over 4A. Next, we find the y-intercept by, uh, by substituting x equals 0 into the function. And usually, the y-intercept is given by the value c. Okay? Next, we find the x-intercept, if available, using the formula x equals a negative b plus and minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Okay? Now, how to determine whether a graph, a quadratic function graph intercepts the x-axis or not? So, we look at the value of b square minus 4ac. If b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, then the graph has got two intersection points, okay? But if b square minus 4ac equals 0, then the graph intercepts the x-axis at only one point, okay? And if we find that b square minus 4ac is less than 0, then the graph does not intercept the x-axis at all, okay? Okay, let's look at example 1 here. We are asked to sketch the following graph. First, we start off with fx equals x square minus 4x. Alright, so for fx equals x square minus 4x, the first step is we compare with ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So here we can say a equals to 1 and b equals to negative 4. But c, there's no constant value here. Therefore, we say c is equal to 0. So since a is equals to 1, that is, we say a greater than 0, then the graph is a minimum graph. Okay? Step 2, find the turning point of the minimum point just now. So use the formula x equals to negative b over 2a. So substitute b with negative 4 and then substitute a with 1. So we have negative, negative 4 over 2 times 1. So negative and negative 4 will give us positive 4. Positive 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2. Okay? And to find the value of y, we substitute into the formula 4ac minus b square over 4a. So we sub when we substitute a with 1, c with a 0 minus b square, b is negative 4 over 4a, a is 1, then we should get the answer uh, y equals to negative 4. All right? Hence, the, we say the turning point is 2, negative 4. Alright, so 2, negative 4 here. Okay, step 3, we find the intercept of y. So, as I said just now, the intercept of y is given by the value of c. So, in the above example, c is equal to 0. And the next step is to find the x-intercept. When x, uh, to find the x-intercept, we substitute y equals to 0 into the function. 
Alright, but before we do that, what we do is we determine the value of B square minus 4AC to see whether there is any interception or not. Alright, so B square minus 4AC, substitute B with negative 4, square minus 4 times A is 1, C is 0, then we will get 16, and negative 4 times 1 times 0 will be 0, so 16 minus 0, the answer is 16. So since 16 is greater than 0, then we say the graph intercepts at 2 points, alright? So how to find the 2 point? We now substitute y with 0. So we take x squared minus 4x equals 0. So from here, we uh, factorize, take out the x, alright, remaining x here minus when we take out x so remaining remainder 4 here so from here we take x equals 0 and then x minus 4 equals 0 therefore x equals to 4 alright so here we say the intercept of x is r 0 0 remember y is 0 so we have x 0 y 0 and then x 4 y 0 so we have two intercepts here okay so the graph of the, the given function, uh, if you look at this graph, all the points, for example, we have 0, 0, we mark the point here, 0, 0, and then 4, 0 is here, and then the minimum point just now we have obtained as 2, negative 4. So after that, what do we do is we join the three points to give us the curve of the U-shape, alright, curve, which is the minimum point.